Hello folks, Joe Hoagland here. Uh, I'm going to uh, talk about doing the grunt work for video breakdowns. Uh, I recently saw two video breakdowns of Timber Giant Bigfoot's uh, Sasquatch Observed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a partial breakdown. Actually what I'm going to do is I, I am going to take a single frame Just a single frame out of the video, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show people what I expect when it comes to video breakdown. And the reason why it says my computer is running slow is because uh, I quit this uh, video the guts and glory of the video basically just the parts where it shows the Sasquatch and um, I when I produced it I produced it in 4k so anything I do with it right now is going to be it's taking up a lot of the uh, space on the drive oh well also it's because I'm recording what I'm doing at 60 frames per second. So anyways, here there's a spot in the video that I found that uh, was a place, it was a spot of question for uh, a video editor named Thinker Thunker and actually that's the perfect frame right there. We're just going to go ahead and take that frame. snapshot of that frame because I, I, I believe that breaking down a video it, you know it requires far more than simply cropping a video anybody can crop a video to make it look closer but what it does is it it makes it stretches the pixels it's no good you know so it just makes it completely worse uh, one thing I think uh, Bill Poland should be doing specifically because he seems to be the Bigfoot community icon with skeptics and everything. Um, he, he should have these programs or maybe even more advanced programs than I have um, if he's going to be, you know, having his influence all over. This is color director. This will add color to the video, but we're only going to do that one photo, so we're going to go to photo director. Um, and what we're going to do is color correction. It's called color correction, um, and we're going to play with the co color. Uh, we're going to try and highlight the lights, uh, you know, give a little contrast to the darks, but not to the point where people have been doing it. Um, there's been a lot of people, you know, putting a lot of contrast and, you know, hi highlighting it so much that basically the the leaves in the video are like glowing white, a whitish yellowish color. And that's not good. That's just too much highlight. Um, you know, and then they crop it far too much where you can't make anything out. Uh, what I'm going to do, you know, let's let's start I, I want to say this, is, you know, especially to Phil Poling, if you if you end up watching my video you know, let's practice some professionalism. Let, let's not, let's do some grunt work. Let's do the work that's required by a video editor instead of just, you know, doing it this simple way and throwing your voice over in there, you know, making these snide remarks. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and do some color adjustment here. Um, the reason why I'm doing this frame specific is because Thinker Thunker posted that he thought this was a baby, you know, he saw head and whatever, a little arm with little digits. Well, that's not what I see. And we're going to start by turning it to black and white. Let's take it from detail. We'll go to the curve, the red, blue, green curve. 
I'm going to go ahead and darken some of actually let's make the darks a little bit darker even. Right. So, and we'll do that, you know, we don't want to make it completely black all over the place, you know, we don't want to add so much darkness that it's black and we don't want to add so much lightness that all these leaves start glowing here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to make it a little lighter, but not too much. Okay, let's go ahead and turn that to color and see what happens. Okay, as you can see, uh, the photo... Let's look at the before and after. You can see we added some color. Let's add some contrast. Let's work with the tone now. You know, but not too much. You don't want to, you know, we don't want to make all these things black and all these leaves white or any other colors. So we don't want shining uh, is basically what's been happening. Is people have been editing so much that it's starting to shine. Turn that down one more. Add some contrast. Let's see, I want to make the darker just a slight bit darker. just a little bit lighter but not so much that everything starts glowing you can see it's starting to we don't want that so that'll be good the midtones can make anything you know the midtones are like magic they're working with midtones is like very important it's very very important to to work with midtones. We'll add a little vibrance, uh, maybe some saturation, make these greeners greener, and that, uh, you know, make these colors jump out just a little bit more. And we'll add some clarity. Okay, so here's the issue that I've been having. Hold we'll back over here the original photo. Uh, I do not believe that that's a baby. I don't believe that those are digits. What I think this is, that's the brow ridge over the eye. And you see that little white part and that little dark part? I believe that's the eye. That's the eyeball. Um, of course, a crazy looking forehead with that big, strong brow ridge. And that's how they, that's, that's how they look. Anybody that's seen one, you know, they know. That's how they look. Um, there have been others that don't look like that, but, uh, from what I've seen, uh, most of them are like that. Or maybe they just get like that as they get older, or maybe they're like that because they're younger, we don't know yet. You know, that's, that's why we do the research, that's why, especially for internet researchers, if you're going to do it, especially you, Phil Poling, if you're going to do it, do it right. You understand? No, of course you don't, but um, let's go ahead and save that. No, that's color correction for you. We'll save that as color corrected. We'll save it to the desktop so it doesn't get lost. I should get a little notification here in a minute. automatically up, uh, uploads the new one. Okay, but we're pretty much done with that. What we're going to do here now, I'm going to open Blurity. Now, Blurity is a really awesome program, you know, especially when you have really blurry photos. Basically how it works is it creates multiple files of the same photo and then uh, batches them all together so that, you know, with a uh, level of opacity and you end up with a, a better looking you know fi a better looking photo in your selected area so what we're going to do is after it opens it doesn't take too long Back to the 
video editor. Uh, you know, I, one of the things that, you know, especially for people that, you know, are breaking down videos or say they're breaking down videos, you know, you, if you want a professional, if you want people to look at you like you're being a professional, you've got to do the grunt work, the grunt work involved. Like I said, what I did was I took this clip, I trimmed the entire video, I trimmed all the edges off on the end, and I trimmed, you know, all the way up until he focuses up in on the Sasquatch. And the reason you want to do that is because that's the guts and glory of the video. And when you produce it, though, what you want to do, you know, is you want to reproduce it in a higher, higher quality than you downloaded it. Seriously, you really do. That's there's no other way to do it, really. Um, I don't see why people value stuff that's being done without the grunt work when I say grunt work, I mean what I'm doing right here. Adding the color correction, we're going to run it through blurity, then we're going to, uh, you know, crop it as much as we can without overstretching it, and we're going to really make the definition of that eye that I'm talking about come out. That's what I, that's, that's my, my whole idea here, is that's a grunt work, and that's just one frame. Sometimes you just need to take that one frame out of there, uh, do all the work for it and then stick it back in, into your video production you know I I can't stress enough that just simply cropping a video with some kind of software it, you know and then stretching the pixels to all hell where it, where it doesn't look even as good as, as it did when it wasn't zoomed in on it makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense to do it. It's unprofessional, you know, and then to sit there and make all these snide remarks, it's, you're not doing anything productive. Seriously, you're not. And I, yeah, I guess I'm specifically speaking of Phil Foley. Um, you know, para breakdown or whatever, super solient or whatever name he's going to go by or what, you know, with his little video breakdown. Uh, operation that's the word I was looking for operation that image that I was speaking of. I almost wonder if I don't even need to use the Blurity program, but did I open I open to I opened it twice it's X1 of them. Basically what I want to do is sharpen it up a little, make it a little less blurry, and I want to show the definition. As you can see, I, without ruining it, I, I made, I, I highlighted the mid-tones, and that's what you want to do, you know, you don't want to ruin it, but you want to, you want to make sure that some definition is seen, so that you can see what, you know, you can explain what it is you're looking at and like what I'm trying to explain that it's you know it's not a baby and I'm trying to explain to other people too that's an actual eye and as you can see right around the eye right there here you know, right around the eye you don't see a blackness that you do when somebody's wearing a mask that's no mask you know that's certainly not a bear this right here 
is a real Sasquatch. It's, that's with those strong with those strong uh, brow ridges. That's 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 how Sasquatches look. They, that's what they have. Close the one that I was. Yes, I did. So let's take this photo. Bring it in here. Add a little definition here. Especially to this area right here. I don't think it needs that much. It's not too blurry. In fact, I'm turning it all the way down. We'll bring it up. And then we'll take. Ah, that should work. Let's see how that turns out. And if this, you know. It, if doing the grunt work is a little too much for you, you shouldn't be doing any kind of breakdowns or anything like that. You know, and if you don't know how to work your, your software to, in order to perform real breakdowns and do the grunt work that's involved, that's required to look for the definition like that, you shouldn't be doing it. You know, and people that are just jumping all over the people that are doing it, you know, with complete acceptance, I guess I'm talking about all the hits that that uh, pair breakdown is getting with his awful, awful work. Um, this is this is just if if you're not going to be doing this, man, I, I don't see why anybody's going to. Awesome, that'll work. That'll work good enough. Right, we'll just save that. Desktop. There's the word. Go ahead and exit the program. Exit that too. Exit that second one. We'll open this one with the regular Microsoft Office Picture Manager. First thing I'm going to do is crop the photo. I'm going to try to do it to where it's not completely stretching it so far that, you know, we're going to ruin the... See, that is a little far. Let's undo that. You know, let's just leave it where it is. Let's, uh... work with the brightness and contrast here. The mid tones. Dark tones and the mid tones. You know what I think that looks just about right. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, so as you can see, uh, specifically what I'm speaking about, you can see that there's this bald spot here, right? Everybody's wondering what this bald, discolored spot was, you know? And it was highlighted so much in other people's videos that they they didn't see that, that uh, all they saw was just this big pink area. Well now, you can see a little more definition here, there's this blackness here, and the white, that's the white, that's the white of the eye, and that's actually the eye. And he's looking up, or she, I don't know if it's a he or a she, I, 